Yo, what's going on people? As you all know, a new Pokemon trailer dropped. And in this trailer, we have new Pokemon, camping, league cards, trainer customization, and curry on rice? <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go in order of the trailer. So we're starting with the Pokemon first. Okay, first up, we have Cramorant. The Gulp Pokemon. It's flying and water type and it has the ability Gulp Missile. I'll get to that in a second. So, Cramorant is based off the Cormorant bird. Now, the Cormorant looks way cooler than Cramorant does. Like, honestly, like, this thing looks ugly, okay? It's an ugly duckling. However, the ability that it has is nice, okay? It's something different, something very unique. Um, the ability Gulp Missile. It takes place when this Pokemon either uses Surf or Dive and when it goes down or <laughs> into the water um, it picks up a fish, a fish Pokemon. Now, this it's probably a Pokemon, this fish is probably a Pokemon that is to be announced still or you're gonna find out what it is when the game releases but when it gets this fish in its mouth, in its beak um, and you attack it after it does so, it launches the fish at you and you take damage. So it spits out the fish, it pukes the fish. Now to me that, that's just sick, okay. <laughs> and yeah, moving on to the next Pokemon. And this next Pokemon is called Poltegeist. Okay, Poltegeist, if you didn't make that connection. It's the Black Tea Pokemon, it's Ghost type, hence its name and has the ability weak armor if you don't know what weak armor is it's when a pokemon with weak armor gets attacked by a physical attack and its defense lowers but its speed increases which would probably make this pokemon kind of pesky so yeah also a bit of lore on it is that it hides not hides but it makes its home inside hotels and restaurants disguising themselves as tableware amongst the tableware and they pour themselves into leftover tea and create even more of the kind now <laughs> that that's that sounds so annoying to me imagine like you don't get you don't recognize this, this, this pokemon's in your in your restaurant and it just decides yo i'm a multiply and it multiplies and it's just so many of them bruh <laughs> that sounds really annoying but anyway <laughs> moving on pokemon camps yes you can now camp in pokemon specifically in gala and this is meant for you to relax just some off time from playing the game because there's not a lot of this in pokemon currently in any of the games where you can just like sit down and enjoy your pokemon and I'm sure there's so many people who actually want to just sit down and interact with the Pokemon in a more natural manner. And it is a progression from the last game where you could just pet your Pokemon on its head. But now you can play with them. So you there's uh, Poke Toys and a variety of bouncing balls. So that's for you to play with your Pokemon while you're camping. And before I move on to the other features of Pokemon camps, you guys remember all creamy right the pokemon that just got announced the, the whipped cream pokemon now all creamy has 16 different forms yeah 16 and i'm showing them right now <laughs> um something like vivalon where it just has it's the same pokemon it just has different colors and this one has different toppings on its cream which is kind of cute and something to collect so there's that now Curry on rice. You can make curry on rice at your camp. Did I mention curry on rice? Now, these are meals for your Pokemon and I'm pretty sure that adding different ingredients yield different outcomes. And <laughs> I know bold of me to assume. Now, these meals do stuff like restore HP, um, up your experience points, and increase a Pokemon's friendliness towards you, the trainer. There was one minor thing that bothered me about curry on rice is that the visual representation it stays the same no matter what ingredients you add besides the sausage 
it just puts the sausage over the curry on rice yeah that's what i've come to expect from pokemon anyway you can visit other people's campsites now you can either do this online or locally if you want to do it online you need to pay for the nintendo online membership if you're doing it solely for this reason to interact through pokemon i'm not too sure if it's worth it but that's entirely up to you um there's up to four people that can join a single campsite at the time and you can i'm sure you can interact with other people's pokemon what i do know is that everyone can cook up one big pot of curry and then in enjoy them together yeah <laughs> so that's that so before i move on with what's in the trailer i want to talk about something that's not in the trailer but it's on the website and that's connecting with other people um if you want to connect online with other people if you want to trade if you want to battle online you're going to need to pay for the nintendo online membership um if you want to just connect locally you just need friends or people around you that own a switch um when it comes to trading the game has this thing called surprise trade which i'm sure is similar to wonder trade where you can put your pokemon out there for auction the game automatically finds you a, a suitable trading partner while you just play the game as usual um i'm sure there will be notifications when the game does find a partner to trade with so yeah also locally trading locally is kind of nice where you can just be around somebody playing the game and the game will pick it up and you should be able to trade so that's kind of neat not gonna lie ah yes something that we've all been waiting for character customization i don't care if you say uh oh, i don't care about that i wasn't thinking about that you liar we were all thinking about it subconsciously just the potential as to what our main character could look like and it's something that we all do, we all like to do. I, I can only assume. Who doesn't like feeling unique? So we have, they, they gave us all the clothes, basically. There's much more um, variety than the previous two games. Also the hairstyles are a bit better. And the hair colors, I think. I'm not sure about the hair colors. Uh, just too bad about the features you can't change the features on your player's face it looks like like the the nose and whatever and the shit in the head size it just seems like if you change the skin color it just it's just a skin color change that's all but much better than the previous two games i'm looking forward to the future but this is still the bare minimum that pokemon can do at this point considering that it's on the switch now and lastly, you get to make your very own unique league card, as it says in the title. Now, league cards are another personalization feature in this game, which is always nice. It's always nice to make um, your character feel like your own, which ties in with character customization. And on your league card, you can choose the poses you want to make. You can also choose the background effects and whatever. Uh, these league cards show up when you battling another trainer which is nice i like that actually that that is definitely something different i mean it's still bare minimum but it's nice oh you can also check other people's league cards after you've battled with them so you can go back and check um everyone's league cards that you've battled with so i have nothing to say about that so yes that concludes the video um comment below on your opinions of the new pokemon uh, let me know how you feel about Pokemon camps and trading with people. Also, carry on rice. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, before I just, before I end, um, the next video, I'm going to try and just update the leaks because some, like a lot of leaks were confirmed and I just want to update that now to see where we are. So check out that video. Um, also like the video subscribe maybe it'll really help us out uh anyway catch you on the flip side see ya